Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is Day. In today's video, we are going to take a look at everything in my collection from Idris Elba. Yes, so let's begin. We have uh, Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe, American Gangster. This had a pretty good cast. A lot of uh, you had a lot of small, smaller parts with some well-known names: T.I., Cuba. Idris Elba, a lot, there was a lot of talent in this movie, a lot, and I know I missed a few, but there's a lot of talent in this movie, a shit ton, and this is one now, again, uh, Gabrielle Union, Idris Elba, Lou Gossett Jr., I love Lou Gossett, and um, Tracy Ellis Ross, now, for those, most of you probably know, I, I'm not a huge fan of Tyler Perry movies, I, I'm just not, now, I like Tyler Perry, I think he's he's a natural born hustler. I mean, to come from sleeping in his car to becoming a billionaire and owning Tyler Perry Studios, that speaks volumes for the hustle. I respect the hustle, and I, I'm not saying nothing about him. It's just the movie, a lot of his movies, I just don't like them because it's just seem like it's wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. But this one, this is one that I he has. There's actually two that I now I got a couple of Tyler Perry movies in my collection. And I, the ones I got are the ones that I like. And that's about three or four that I like. I don't even have one of the ones that I like I don't have. I'm going to get it. It's called The Family That Prays. That's a good movie. But this one, this one here, it's called Daddy's Little Girl. Daddy's Little Girls. This is a good movie right here. This is a good movie. I mean, this is a banger. I mean, this one here, Tyler Perry, he, he did good with this one. I, I really, really, really fucks with this one. This is a good movie. Uh, okay, so this is The Unborn. 28 Weeks Later. Pacific Rim. Uh, Infinity War. Everybody, see like everybody, the last few I did had somebody, for, had something to do with the MCU. A lot of people had, had their claws into the MCU, I'm telling you. Thor Ragnarok. Uh, this one, uh, Star Trek uh, uh, Beyond. Star Trek Beyond. He was in that one. Yep, Star Trek Beyond. Thor, the original. Finding Dory. One of my favorites. Well, Finding Nemo, but Finding Dory. Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Same shit. Uh, Dark Tower. Uh, this one was good. I, I really like this one. Um, yeah, I like this one. This one, um, yep, that was good. Prometheus, not so good. Age of Ultron, banger. Thor Dark World, the, the weakest, trashiest of the Thor movies. Hobbs and Shaw, you know, I appreciate it that they was trying to spin that franchise off. And I think they're going to attempt to do it again. And I think they're setting up to keep it going. But they're going to, I think they, what they're going to do... I think they're gonna Dom's son. Dom's son. I think after Fast, the Fast X Part Two or whatever is gonna be called Part Two to Fast X. I think when they come out with the next one, they're gonna do a slight time jump, and Dom's son is gonna be a little bit older, so he's gonna be running things. I think. I think that's what they were setting up with his son, especially in Fast X. Um, but Fast. I mean, I I see what they was trying to do and spinning it off, but. This wasn't the way. This 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 wasn't the way. And this one had pretty good star power and it wasn't good. Suicide Squad. Now, shoot me if you want, but I think the original Suicide Squad movie that came out with Will Smith and Jared Leto was better than this one. Now, I know, I know, I'm in the minority. A lot of people think this one was better. Uh, the box office reflected this one was better, but I didn't like this one to me, and I get it. It's a it's a it's a comic book. Uh, it's a comic book movie. I get it's supposed to be colorful and all this, but this shit was just too cartoony for me, for my liking. If I wanted to watch a cartoon, I would watch a cartoon. I like the other one. It had a darker tone than this one. That's my opinion. Prom Night. This was trash. This was supposed to be a re remake to the original Prom Night. Not even close. Not even close. This shit was trash. I'm mad that I paid $2 for that shit. Um, the Mountain Between Us. This was all right. This this was okay. I dug this one. 
Sonic 2, I dug Sonic 1, and I dig Sonic 2. These Sonic movies are begging, yo. If you don't got these in your collection, you need to check these out. They are all right, both of them. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder. The Jungle Book. This was good. This was really good. Here's another one. Another one. Look at this cast. Matt Dillon, Paul Walker, Idris Elba, Jay Hernandez, Michael Early, T.I. Harris, Chris Brown, Hayden Christensen. Damn, takers. This was this was a good heist type of movie. Again, not the best. Probably won't even crack the top five of greatest heist movies ever, but it's a good one nonetheless. And this one here is... I'm trying to think. Is this a TP movie? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, because usually when Tyler Perry, he put his name front and center. This one was good, though. This is from the same people who did Obsessed. Remember that movie with, um, was it, it was, I think it was Idris Elba too, and Beyonce. And this is um, called No Good Deed. This was all right. This was okay. You know what I mean, it was, it was, it was all right. This, you could watch the runtime on this one. It was okay. So that's everything Idris Elba. He got some decent stuff. You know, eh, he got some decent stuff. Um, No Good Deeds. Takers. The Jungle Book, Thor Love and Thunder, Sonic 2, The Mountain Between Us, Prom Night, The Suicide Squad, Hobbs and Shaw, Thor Dark World, Avengers Age of Ultron, Prometheus, Dark Tower, The Dark Tower, Finding Dory, Thor, Star Trek Beyond, Thor Ragnarok, Infinity War, Pacific Rim, 28 Weeks Later, The Unborn, this movie was actually pretty good. If you don't have this one in your collection or you never saw this one, you might want to check this one out. This is a movie that I highly, highly disagree with the IMDb rating for this one. They got it at a 4.7. This movie should be at least high fives, early six. It's a really good horror movie. I'm not really sure why it's rated so low. That's why I always say, now I do use IMDb as a guide. I'll, I'll let it guide me. But a lot of times... I will find that it's, some movies should be rated a little bit lower or a little bit higher, but it's a good guide. But that's a 4.7. This should be at least minimum 5.5. Five. Daddy's Little Girl. This is a good movie. And I know there's a lot of people in the camp that, well, no, I'm not going to say that. There's a lot of people who love and enjoy Tyler Perry movies. But there's a small group like me who don't like his movies. Not because they got something against him or the actors in his movies. It's just he follows the same blueprint for the majority of his movies, and you want something different. This was a good Tyler Perry movie, though. This was a banger. It was a really, really good movie. It, it, it had a really good, feel-good ending to it. I mean, wow. American Gangster. So that's everything, Idris Elba. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.